people's homes, shopping malls, uh, parking lots were all flooded within a two days. So when you see flooding happening in Nairobi, why are you not criticizing Dubai? No. And Dubai is a first world. Hold on. You know, Mr. Compared, Mr. Hold on. Compared to what Kenya is in Nairobi. Fair enough. Excellency Fair Governor enough. Sakaja has it's, it's tried. Good. It's good because you said. And when you say that it's it did you come you said, by Mr. Mr. Gidega, that's a bit Mr. sarcastic. Mr. Mr. Gidega, it's good you said <laughs> they experienced flash floods. The heaviest rainfall in a while. Yes. That is not the case in the country. Oh, my friend. Totally different. Let scenario. me tell you something. It's like you don't read the weather forecast, but you're a broadcaster. No, that's Let not me the tell case. you something, brother. Today, the weather forecast is the millimeters are high all over the country. Even the rain that we experienced last night. Last night rains was so it's, high, it's, that's why there is flooding because the systems, let me tell you about the drainage systems. And I can tell you right now, not speaking on behalf of Nairobi County, but I'm a very much aware person. The Nairobi Water Sewerage Company has set aside funds to expand the drainage system because the current drainage system that we have is old. It needs to be expanded. The river systems that we have, we need to modernize them. We need to kind of concretize them so that we turn them into canals, not sewer plants, where, whereby sewer, sewerage is left to flow there. We need to modernize our urban systems so that even the water that goes into the river goes into a reservoir. Because in a few months, our neighboring counties like Machakos and Kajiado will be crying for water and they won't be having it. The governor himself, 